हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग टू डे वी कंटिन्यू चैप्टर अर्थमेटिकल रीजनिंग लास्ट क्लासेस में अर्थमेटिकल रीजनिंग पे बैल्स हमने काफी क्वेश्चन सॉल्व किए थे आज भी कुछ क्वेश्चन करते हैं ए क्वेश्चन अ गर्ल काउंटेड इन द फॉलोइंग वे ऑन द फिंगर्स ऑफ आर लेफ्ट हैंड she started by calling the thumb one the index finger two middle finger three ring finger four little finger five and then reverse direction calling the ring finger six मिडिल फिंगर सेवन एंड सो ऑन शी काउंटेड अप टू वन नाइन एंड फोर शी एंडेड काउंटिंग ऑन विच फिंगर ये सोल्यूशन क्लियरली वाइल्ड काउंटिंग द नंबर एसोसिएट टू द थम विल बी वन नाइन सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज नंबर ऑफ द फॉर्म इज एट एंड प्लस वन सिंस नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फोर इजिकल्स टू टू फोर्टी नाइन मल्टीप्लाई बाई एट प्लस टू सो नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी थ्री शेल कॉरस्पॉन्ड to the thumb and 1994 to the index finger answer next question if a clock takes 7 second to strike 7 how long will it take to strike train the solution clearly seven strike of a clock have six intervals while ten strike have nine interval so required time is equals to Seven by six multiply by nine. Ten point five six. Answer. Okay. Next question. On Children's Day, sweets were to be equally distributed among one seventy five children in a school. Actually, on the Children's Day, thirty-five children were absent, and therefore each child got four sweets extra. Total, how many sweets were available for distribution? The solution. Let uh, the total number of sweets be x. Then x sweets uh, distributed in one seventy five children. But uh, on that day, thirty uh, five students uh, are absent, so one forty students are present. So x uh, sweets are distributed in one forty children and Each children got four extra sweets. So x divided by one forty minus x divided by one seventy five is equals to four. We solve this equation. Here LCM one forty multiplication one seventy five 
Here 175x minus 140x is equals to 4 then 35x divided by 140 multiplication 175 is equals to 4 then x is equals to 140 multiplication 175 multiplication 4 divided by 35 after solve this equ uh, equation answer is 2800 and next question Mr. X a mathematician defines a number is connected with 6 if it is divisible by 6 or if the sum of its digit is 6 or if 6 is one of the digits of the number is per the definition the number of integers from 1 to 60 both inclusive which are not connected with 6 is a solution number from 1 to 60 which are divisible by 6 are 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 48 54 and 60 there are 10 such numbers next number from 1 to 60 the sum of whose digit is 6 are 6 15 24 33 42, 51, and 6. There are 7 such numbers of which 4 are common to the above ones. So, there are 3 such uncommon numbers. And number from 1 to 60 which have 6 is one of the digits are 6 16 26 36 46 56 and 60 clearly there are four such uncommon numbers so number connected with 6 is 60 minus 10 plus 3 plus 4 answer is 43 next question consider the uh, diagram given below Five hundred candidates appeared appeared in an examination comprising of tests in English, Hindi, and mathematics. The diagram gives the number of Candidate who failed in different tests. What is the percentage of candidates who failed in at least two subjects? A solution. Clearly, number of candidates who failed in at least two subjects. is equals to 
number of candidates who fell in two or more subjects. So, fell in two or more subjects in diagram here 10, 12, 12, and 5. So, 10 plus 12 plus 12 plus 5. Sum is 39. So, required percentage is equals to 39 divided by 500 multiply by 100 is equal to 7.8 percent okay student thank you